you trust this guy? Which guy are you talking about? Are you talking about Frank? Are you yes. talking about Angelo? Are you talking about, about Frankie Angelo the fifth? Are you talking about Junior Junior the fifth? Gotti. All right, we got the money. We got the money, man. Oh man, that that joint. That's a lot of money. I like money. Yeah, we do bad things for money. You idiots. You had one job, and that was it. I did, though. I did the bad thing. The bad thing is done. And look at all this money I got. We had to cut all the commission meetings. We had to go through all the trouble just for you. Yeah, but Johnny, it's all Johnny's fault. Oh my gosh, I can't, I Johnny's can't do this dead. anymore. Oh, he's dead. Johnny's dead, and also Angelo, and also Frankie, and also Angelo Frankie. Guy the fourth, and also Junior Junior Guy Junior Frankie Angel. All right, you over there. I'm gonna introduce you to my good old friend Sammy, called Joeyski over here. Joeyski, I hate Joeyski. The Joeyski family tried to have me killed after I did all those bad things for all that money. Joeyski is the boss of all bosses. That's that. On your wedding day, I say thank you with a bag of money that I did this very bad thing for. A big bag of money. How did you do it? By... Oh crap, we're in jail already. We got caught. How did, how did that happen? We were doing a bad thing <laughs> for a lot of money. And we got caught. <laughs> Alright, well... I can't do this accent anymore. I had to go back to It's all Frankie's team. fault. He ratted on us. <laughs> what a rat. What a rat. I can't talk like this anymore. Okay. <laughs> you over there, stop talking like that. Stop talking. Okay. Okay. We're in jail, so let's let's try to make this worth our while, I guess. I don't know. We're stuck in here forever for some reason. What do we do in jail? I don't even know what we do in jail. Is there any bad things? Hey, to do for money? There's a TV over there. Oh. What's what's on right now? I don't think there's anything on, but I see a, a videotape. There's only one in their collection here. Hmm. It's blank. Let's put it in. Oh, no. It's Gotti. Never back off, ever. walk together and we fall together all right so you over there what did you think of Gotti it's a it's a it's a mess it's a uh, it's got me traumatized it's a beautiful mess Just, and no it's not it's terrible yes it is this is <laughs> it's it's perfect we differ John Travolta <laughs> playing a bad man glorified <laughs> a glorified murderer a real life murder. A real life murder. I should have included a history book in this cell. So I'd, I'd like to know a little more with, so I can understand what the heck was going on in this movie. Because it's just all over the place. It's just... <laughs> yeah, this movie is basically a timeline of John Gotti's life as portrayed by John Travolta. He does like a very okay job. But it's not coherent at all. It's just... I know, it's not coherent. They don't focus on like one thing. They jump across like a freaking 20 or 30 year span. Right. Possibly more. It's it's just like reading a timeline in your history book. It's like, here's an event. Here's another event. Here's another event. Well, usually when you make a movie, you have a plot. Yeah. And this movie doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is just a series of events. Well, like, why like is this movie doesn't there's nothing leading up to anything else i mean technically there is there's yeah. just a bunch of random people doing some random things it's a flashback of the father and son Gotti and his son oh man let's not talk about how it's a flashback because that <laughs> just like that just blows my mind why would they do that there's a flashback and then there's a flash forward in the flashback <laughs> during the murder scene yeah there's there are flashbacks and flashbacks and then flash forwards and then like different scenes of things happening simultaneously to things happening <laughs> events in the movie oh my gosh like one of one of the plot points is this guy named paul uh he's the leader of the gambino family and we hear his name so much and we never see him once he's just the guy he's just the boss of all bosses he's the boss and that's it and then you never see the boss that's why and then he shows up for like two seconds and he gets shot <laughs> and then god he's the boss 
Yep. There you go. There's the movie. It should have ended right there, but it, it didn't. I know. It goes through his son stuff. Oh, boy. This movie should have been the rise of power of Gotti, and it should have just ended when he took over. Like, uh, to portray Paul as a bad person, like he's causing crime all over the city, and then Gotti says he, he can do a better job, and then after that, just have like this giant like rivalry between Gotti and and Paul, and then eventually have a climax of the movie where that scene happens, where they, they walk into his car and shoot him. Well, this movie is just like, if you want to do a movie about a historical figure, make sure there's a story to be told. John, John Gotti is an interesting person who had a lot of interesting things happen in his life, but none of them are connected in any way, which is like, if, if you're gonna go for the history, make a documentary, if, you're, yeah. if they have a, a cool story that's well-rounded and there's some, a start, Pick a, a middle and end. Pick one of those points in the movie and then focus on that. Right. Because in, in this movie, it's just so boring because we don't see any of the interesting stuff that happened to Gotti. It's just like... We don't see any of the uh, scenes where he's arrested. They don't take the time to do any of the action scenes. Well, where, like why he's arrested or anything behind why he was arrested or was, any of the bad things he did. He, it shows some of the, like, the murders of his friends and stuff like that. But like that's like the least interesting stuff, I think. It's done the most... I mean, like... There's no build-up to the betrayals that happen. The, the, the FBI guy that just randomly shows up in the... Like, he, he's there the whole time, but it's randomly just said that he's an FBI agent. But he, he's play, playing for for mercy at the, at the court case, yeah. and it's like, what what the heck is this? And then, it, doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. You could have cut that, and it wouldn't have done anything. And this movie makes you feel dumb, because, like, there's so many characters in, like, 800 francs... New names are showing up, like, halfway through the movie. Yeah, okay. so you don't end up caring about anyone. They're, like, they talk about, they're having, like, a side conversation about Ben the, the Dumpster Man or something like that. If you are a history, I think that's just only for history buffs that, like, memorize all the names. And they're, they're like, oh my gosh, it's Sammy, blah, 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 blah. Or it's Frankie Angelo, blah. Well, movies are supposed to have characters. I know. Have arcs, you know, and this movie just has uh, a saintly, you know, one actor in a different scene saying one line Ugh. and it shows their name under it so it's interesting maybe i don't know Ugh. if you know the history of Gotti. yeah i think just reading a history book would be inter more interesting than this movie but well can we talk about how this movie wants to glorify Gotti? this murdering piece of crap to be fair I, I i i haven't read any history about Gotti, so i have no idea like how true that is like maybe it is because like they, they keep showing well, they, well keep... they say he's supposed to be sympathetic but they only show him murdering other people <laughs> so they don't do a very good job paint, painting him as a yeah. as a guy who controls the crime they, they don't focus on on the crime too much when paul's in power and then they don't show the difference between when Paul's in power and when Gotti's in power, the yeah. crime difference. It's basically, the, it's, it gets worse actually because people are starting to blow up cars. Right. <laughs> After, oh, to cheery pop 80s hits. Oh my Mind gosh. You. Lots of this movie just has like these, the random music spliced in that is just unfitting and kills all the tension if there was supposed to be tension in the first oh. place. Like the movie starts and it's about like these old timey gangsters. Yeah. But you have like this rap music when you come in, you're like, oh, <laughs> this movie's gonna be a train wreck. I knew it. I called like from the ten from like the five minute mark, I'm like, this is gonna be the worst thing I've seen in a long time. Here, here, you know what? I'll just list all the things that I remember in the plot, regardless of what whether how well connected they are. Yeah. So you, you got the mob boss, the overthrow of the mob boss, Paul, which is technically bolts up throughout the Whoa, movie. Whoa, you forgot about Kid gets hit by bike. I was about to say that, yeah. Kid gets hit by a car but while he's riding a bike. Son gets married. Son gets Son married. Son kills a man in a bar fight. Son meets the meets the woman he marries, but it's it's like five seconds and like nothing. And she's underage and it's weird. Is, is she? Yeah. Oh my gosh. She goes, I'm 16. And he goes, oh, sorry, miss. I don't remember that. Oh my god! Yeah, and then they end up getting married, so it's weird. I think it's the same person. I don't know. I'll have to look that. Look yeah, oh, and also when he kills that guy in the bar fight, nothing happens. Yeah. Oh, or the scene where uh, the, the son he goes on his first money run and he comes back with like a buttload of cash, and then the, one of the guys that follows got Gotti around is like, "I remember the time when you would walk in with five bucks. Now he's bringing back the earnings." Yeah. And we're like, well, "What the heck did he do?" Yeah, it comes back from a money. You said money run because we don't know what the hell he did. Yeah, there's so many like action scenes they could have done that yeah. would have been interesting. Yeah, but instead it's just guy gets shot. Guy gets shot. Guy gets shot. Friend gets shot. There's a scene where uh, guy says he's okay, then he gets shot. 
Yeah. Or that this this one kid that was that at the very end of the movie during the funeral scene, he's like, yeah, yeah. So what? He went to jail. Like nobody's a saint. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean that was real footage though. I know that was. Which I have to say. It's kind of distasteful uh, to be splicing in this weird movie with real footage of Gotti. Yeah. And, like, uh, some real dead bodies, I think, and, like, real police reports and stuff. <laughs> and I got this movie's like, Gotti, you'll never forget Gotti, but I've never even heard of Gotti. <laughs> I know. You'll never forget the crime boss, who's the real gangster. I know, people who are in the comments are going to be like, you uneducated yeah. bastard. Oh, I knew about Gotti when I was two. <laughs> John Gotti was my father. He was all of our fathers. He's such a good guy. Oh my gosh. It's a mess. Not to mention how it's filmed, according to you. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. I, I want to mention this. There are so many moments in this movie. Like, so many. I have no idea if this is like a stylistic choice. So, whenever there's a conversation going on, like, 50% of this movie is there's some artistic visual happening in one side of the frame and then on the other side of the frame there's nothing going on so it's it's like what when you when you're like I'm, I'm no director of photography i'm not a photographer but when i'm watching a movie when whenever i see empty space going on and it doesn't represent or signify anything it just feels like a waste of space like i'm watching this movie and it, it's so easy like i'll put my hand over the empty space and i have a perfectly fine scene and it uh, it's 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 just so frustrating. Like I don't know what if the director was going for something with that. Like it's supposed to represent loneliness. That's the only thing I could think of. Unless there's a guy eating cereal on the other side. <laughs> Random guy eating cereal. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my favorite character in this movie. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's all I gotta say about the filmmaking. I mean, everything else like there's some competent like placement of characters. Like when a character has more power than another, like they do the classic, the character who is more powerful is more up above the camera. And then whenever someone is less powerful, like um, during the couch scene with Angelo or whatever his name is, he's more at the bottom of the frame. So like there's some confident stuff going on in here. But then, but then I just meant happy accent though, because a lot of the, John Travolta is kind of tall and the other ones are kind of like <laughs> fat and smooshed down. Oh, you think so? Maybe. Okay. I don't know if it's confident, if that's confidence or not. If there's anything good I could say about this movie is that it's, it tried to do something different, it just failed at it miserably. It tried to like make a documentary more interesting yeah, and more to a widespread audience like that doesn't just want to go see a documentary, they want to see a crime movie. But it's just like, man, uh, either or would have been fine by I'd, me. I'd rather watch anything from History, History Channel than this. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather watch a documentary on John Gotti for sure. Any uh, final recommendations for this movie? Don't watch it. Don't, don't watch it, not even for fun. And uh, you can kind of enjoy this movie, I guess, if you just like <laughs> the weirdness of it. But I, I'm gonna, I try to look at the good side of every movie. Uh, I'm gonna, you're gonna recommend this movie. I'm gonna recommend this movie to, <laughs> to, <laughs> two groups of people. <laughs> two, if one, one of them, if you're, if you like to get high, because uh, so many random things happen in this movie, like it, it's, it's a wild ride. Um, a wild ride. Nothing is so boring. You have no idea what the heck's going on. It's like, or maybe not all. Maybe not all, all people that like are high, but maybe some people. But okay, the second, the second group. If you of enjoy, people, if you enjoy bad things when you're high, yes. <laughs> the second group of people, I would say, if you are a history buff that loves John John, John Gotti, Gotti that knows everything about John Gotti, you will get a kick out of this movie. Probably, like, imagine if you were obsessed about a history figure. And you watched a movie that's structured like this. Like, yeah, there's no plot. Like, let's say you're not too big on plot. And you watch this movie and all of a sudden, like, so many things that you know and paid attention to in the books keep showing up. And you're like, I know what that is. I know that guy. Oh my gosh, he did this. They don't show it, but, like, I know he did it. Benny the Rat. <laughs> I remember when he, John Guy said that thing. He said it in the movie. <laughs> he said you like tuna. Yeah, it's in there. Um, but, yeah, if you're, if you're that kind of person, you'll... I'm, I'm willing to bet that you'll get a kick out of this movie. But yeah, um, if, if you're not in those two categories, don't don't see this movie. Or if you're trying to go to bed and you need something real boring to put on. Well, I guess it has loud gunshots, so you might get woke up, but... <laughs> Never mind, I don't re recommend this to anyone. <laughs> this is the life. Well, that movie was freaking terrible. Well, we watched the one movie in this cell, so um, now what do you want to do? I don't know. You want to tell me about... Um, 
your other crimes that you've done? Oh, I've done a lot of crimes. Really? So, like what? A lot of bad things. Did you... What did I just hear right now? What is oh, that? nothing. What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing. That, what is that? What? What is that? What are you talking about? What is that? Huh? That's, that's a, give me that. That's a tape recorder. And it's got the FBI logo on it. How dumb can you get? You're a rat. Oh, no. Please. You know what I'm going to do to you? Please. Don't. Don't. Please. You, I'll, I'll bet the boy's life. Don't. You won't kill me. And you'll be okay. Able. It's all good. I would never hurt you, my lifelong friend. Friend.